we are pleased to interrupt your Christmas festivities for a very important broadcast. We appreciate your attention and your willingness to capitulate. Greetings, new comrade. My name is Tu. I will be your guide today. I believe you have already met my predecessor. She does not have a name, but I am pleased to continue your training on your behalf. We are very pleased to welcome you to our fully automated luxury space vehicle on this very special day. You will have noticed by now our fully gay luxury communist Christmas tree. We are having our annual Christmas celebration today as is punctual for this time of year. It is a common misconception that here among the space communists, we do not celebrate Christmas. However, this is in fact a very hurtful myth. There will be a feast and a gift exchanging ceremony where everyone may contribute a certain item that is the same item as what everyone else is giving to pass to their comrades as appreciation in honor of the holiday. We find this to be the most fair way of maintaining happiness at this time of year. Here, aboard the Karl Marx 4000, we are equally accepting of all major humanoid holidays and traditions. We have also begun to honor the space orangutan traditions that are local to the colonies of Jupiter, as well as the moons of Nibiru. We are especially fond of holidays such as Christmas that promote positivity and collective goodwill as it is among our philosophy to understand that current human collective consciousness is driven by fear and animosity. We seek to reduce this animosity by any means possible to foster an atmosphere of progress and innovation that favors a fully ideal future. Our vision of the future is one in which all are happy and fulfilled and humanity may pursue its highest capabilities. Among the other common misconceptions about our colonies is that we, the Intergalactic Federation of Space Communists, have our origins in the USSR and other humanoid city-states, but we would like to take this moment to assure you that while we are very fond of the iconography and other symbology, as well as the philosophical texts of these ancient communities, we do not consider ourselves in direct lineage to any of the currently known humanoid communist societies. Whereas in the past, many communist societies fell to the pull of human greed and intense negativity, we seek to remedy these problems permanently through endorsement of extreme positivity, you will find that we have borne great success in reducing these terrible but entirely foreseeable consequences of human greed. It is our collective mission to rid humanity of collective compound negativity infecting the collective consciousness via capitalism and other abominations, including pair corporation through deeper collectivization and collective positivity and collective innovation. I think you will find our extremist positivity quite invigorating and relaxing simultaneously. Before we can proceed to the next phase of your welcoming procedure, I would like to briefly check your wristband and the chip that was installed therein at our Moscow facility if that is all right with you. Great. I will just be taking a look at that wristband. Thank you. Please hold still. It would not do for you to move, as it would cause me a great inconvenience in locating the wristband. Your understanding is greatly appreciated. It is usually on this arm. Hmm. I shall check this arm. Here we are. Yes, 
That is the correct one. I'm just going to hit this button, don't mind. Very good. All right. Excellent. You are now registered. Welcome aboard. We know you will be staying with us for a very long time. On behalf of the crew, I would like to formally welcome you as one of our own. If I may. Great. Thank you. Mm, a very perfect fit. As expected, communism fits well on everyone. Now that you have had your formal welcoming reception and we have cleared up some common misconceptions for you regarding our holiday traditions, I would also like to add to the aforementioned that we are not actually from Mars. We have yet to initiate a Mars colony. At the moment, we are a series of intergalactic space vehicles, the latest of which being this, the fabulous Karl Marx. 4,000. Here aboard the Karl Marx 4,000, we do not have management or department heads. However, I will be your elder guide should you need any assistance as you progress through our technology department. You had listed on your application and resume that you have experience in technology and would like to be placed among the technology facilities once you took up residence on our fully automated luxury space vehicle. Is that correct? As you may have learned previously, we have many departments and branches of research aboard the Karl Marx 4000. Our department, the one you volunteered to participate in, is, as aforementioned, the technology department, in particular, our state-of-the-art state facility, for androgynous, specialized mechanical recreation technology, also known as ASMR. We hope you will enjoy working with our latest recreational technology, and if it is all right with you, in the spirit of Christmas, I will commence introducing you to our latest technology advances. Great. Your enthusiasm for collective advancement will no doubt be of great benefit to all of us. It is the hope of the ASMR Technology Department that all of our innovations here may be used to further this mission of collective human positivity to enhance the most productive future in which the greatest amount of collective equality and happiness can be reached. Thank you for joining our mission. The first piece of intergalactic, fully automated luxury space technology I would like to show you, new comrade, is this. We have yet to assign a bit of nomenclature to this wonderful piece of technology, but as you are aware, names are optional on this vehicle and we do not consider it a problem. Here we are. Isn't it magnificent? Here you will see, within a plasticine structure, we in fact have many little air pockets in which mini biodomes may be installed, wherein we may create little communist societies for the microbes. We have also found that in addition to serving our microscopic comrades, this wonderful piece of technology can be used to instill a state of relaxation in those who are close enough to gain contact with it. The effects may also be experienced through touch and sound. You will have noticed, I'm sure, a delightful crickling sound that delivers a great amount of euphoria to those who are aware of the effects of ASMR technology. This delightful bit of biodome paper can be used in such manner to produce a crinkling sound 
like so. A crinkling, squeaking sound, like so. Mm. The sensation, I'm sure, you will find quite pleasurable. It is best experience when held up to one's ears. When I'll be sick, I'll stop breathing quickly. It may also be applied over the subject like so. We have begun consulting on the my technology in our residency. When you are ready to your dorm, you will find that your own residence is fully filled and stocked with the latest in ASMR relaxation technology. You will find some biodome paper under your bed, as well as located in several hiding holes around the room. There we are. A delightful piece of modern day space luxury equipment. The second piece of brand new cutting edge fully automated luxury gay space technology. It is our privilege to introduce to you our newest guest and staff member would be these right here. Hmm. You will see Despite their rather bulbous size, these special auricular devices in fact fit quite snugly on the front of the cranial orb. You will notice they also produce quite soothing sounds when you run your fingers down them, like so. As with the mini biodome paper, you will notice that these lovely devices serve multiple functions. The second primary function, after producing lovely sounds upon which one may relax, these lovely devices may be used on the eyes as a means of education. I will demonstrate in a moment you will see how these delightful contraptions are in fact auditory devices as well as visual aids. When applied to the eyes, they in a virtual reality type fashion, in fact will produce an image that will cover the entire vision as well as relate to you the entire catalog of quotes and best sayings by our hero, Karl Marx. Would you like to try them out? Absolutely. Here we are. Please do hold still. I will apply them for you. Much appreciated. Here we are. 
will look quite smashing on you, if I may say so. Do hold still, they can make for a snug fit. How is everything, dear comrade? Can you still hear me? Or perhaps even see me? Do you enjoy the show? I will be here when you return. Men make their own history, but they do not make it as they please. The history of our previous society has been history of class struggle. There is a specter haunting your the the specter of communism. The theory of communism may be summed up in one sentence. Abolish all private property. Well, those are the ones in life. You have nothing to lose but your chance. History repeats itself. First is tragedy, second is fun. Last words are for fools who haven't said enough. Welcome back, comrade. How was the informational session? Do you feel informed? Excellent. All right. If you would just allow me to remove your VR goggles. Great. How was your experience? Yes, that is a common experience for people who are new to virtual reality, as well as Marxism. You will grow used to the experience, I think, with continued practice. Now, before we can return you to your dorm, I would like to show you one last piece of our latest innovative communist technology. Is that all right? Great. Our last piece of brand new fully automated luxury space technology is in this little vial right here. You will notice that it is a delightful pink and purple shade that we have yet to name, but that may, of course, be a variant on the nomen Karl Marx. Perhaps Markusha, or perhaps a forest Marx, or perhaps even an off lavender Marx Genta. Although it does make very delightful sounds on its own that can produce relaxation, there is really only one function for this little vial, and that is sleep dust. Very closely related to space dust, but not close to the human dandruff that creates most normal dust. This space dust is made of microbes taken from the Andromeda galaxy and star B182 in the Coco Gorilla galaxy. We have amalgamated it with some real pixie dust, highly effective in producing sleep. This technology is often exploited by pear industries to the greater detriment in capitalist society. We, however, have turned it into a fully public enterprise to benefit all. Shall we give it a go? Great. You will look inside, I'm sure. Like the microbes in the Coco the Gorilla galaxy, you will notice a clingy effect on this particular dust, as well as its tendency to use sign language when left in a bowl of water. Can you see it, comrade? There we are. Quite luxurious, is it not? We do not recommend inhaling it. This special magic sleep dust is highly potent and not recommend standing too close to it, as any accidental inhale may result in an unwanted effect of growing quite tired at your own inconvenient intervals and many of your pleasant 
from our very gay luxury space family to yours, or should I say ours, we wish you a very happy gay space, fully automated. Luxury Christmas Good night